Hello, my name is Peggy Adams, president of the League of Women Voters Flint area. With Partners Communities First and uh, Flint Beat, we share a purpose to engage, well, empower, and educate local voters. We're happy to bring you a virtual community forum today to help you decide which candidate for Genesee County Commissioner in your district will get your vote. The Board of Commissioners makes important decisions about how your tax dollars are spent, so knowing about your candidate is important. All candidates for these offices were contacted. Some candidates chose not to participate for a variety of reasons. We hope you'll listen carefully to those who have and check vote411.org to see if there is a written response from the others. All were informed that they would need to comply with certain rules, such as refraining from comments on other persons and only taking this opportunity to tell voters about their own qualifications, priorities, and outlook. The All candidates were asked the same questions and all had the same time to answer. Thank you, and we look forward to an informative discussion. Hello, Ms. Ellenberg. Uh, we have questions today. Um, the first one is, what background and experiences have prepared you for this office? Well, um, I've been, I was a county commit or a city councilwoman for nine years in the city of Burton. And uh, before that, um, I was a stay-at-home mom. So I organized my family, organized my home. Um, very, was very busy in the school systems of raising money and making sure that programs were supplied with sufficient funds. Uh, was able to, you know, look at the dollars and make wise decisions even when my children's, during my children's functions of being like their cheerleader of raising money for anything that they needed. So, and I'm a caring person. I was kind of a, I enjoy helping people. Um, I was always a volunteer for many other people's campaigns um, to make sure that, you know, the right person was in office. And so I feel that I um, have the, I guess the, the attitude of positive thought and the kindness of um, working with people to make things happen. Okay, uh, what are your priorities for the 2023-2024 term? Well, um, you know, in Genesee County, we have really been um, moving forward with a lot of positive things in for the county level. Um, you know, during this time that I've been in office, we have really seen a lot of growth. Uh, we're moving into a new building, which that basically um, collaborating and putting uh, things together in one building will save the county um, $1 million a year that we will be able to use for other things. So I feel, um, you know, the county has been working well together. The board that we have now, uh, we work together, we talk, we basically um, communicate and I think that's really important that um, commissioners do that. Okay. Um, the third question, how will you respond to constituent concerns? Well, I'm really, really pretty responsive to people that uh, give me a call or they send me a text. Whether they're in my district or not in my district, I try to make you know time and get an answer for them. Um, you know, one of my passions is basically elderly abuse, whether it be physical or financial. Um, lately, you know, we've had some people or some of the seniors call me where they had been scammed or they have fallen and our ambulance companies are caught, they're charging them money for a lift and assist. Um, so I basically direct that to our sheriff's department and they've been able to solve those situations and help those seniors and kind of make it um, for them to look out, make sure that, you know, they don't have to pay that bill if it's a lift and assist. Um, we should be doing that because we're good residents and we're good people of uh, the community to be able to help someone. Okay, thanks. Um, number four, according to the U.S. Census, Genesee County's population declined 4.6% from 2010 to 2020. What policies would you pursue to help grow our county in the future? Well, basically growth, you know, new businesses, new jobs, opportunities, um, I think Genesee County is really kind of blessed with our education programs that we offer here in Genesee County with the colleges that we have. 
Um, the skilled trades uh, programs are really, you know, going really well of educating some of our local residents. But I feel that with that census, we're just definitely going to have to create some of our, our brownfields into businesses that will draw people here to work. And then um, from there, we'll have growth of people of um, housing. Okay. Uh, what do you see as the role of county government in partnering with cities, villages, and townships across the county? Well, I think it's really important. Sorry about that really important um, to work with your cities and your townships. Uh, like the township, especially like road commission, we get a lot of questions about our roads as county commissioners. And a lot of people think that we are in charge of the road commission, but like you're, you're basically your townships and your villages are the one that utilize um, the road commission the most. And so, um, you know, just making sure that they know who to contact when there's a problem. I mean, I usually can direct their calls to the road commission with they have a problem with say like roads. Um, I know the contacts. And I think that's the, the most important part in um, county government is having the connections of your city, your villages and um, your townships of how you can get something solved. So you have to have that, that friendship and that connection. Okay, thank you. Uh, so uh, the last question, why do you want to be a county commissioner? Well, I like county commission because I feel like I can get something done. Um, you know, I was, you know, some people like to move up into, you know, like higher government levels. And but as a county commissioner, you know, I can, you know, make a few phone calls, I can go out and pound the doors and figure out how to solve a problem. And, and that's basically why I enjoy county government is being able to solve situations that are easily more done. You know, that's probably not proper, but how um, then state government, state government takes a lot of process and a lot of steps where on um, county government, we're able to make the connections and see things get corrected. Um, I like basically the fact that I've lived in Genesee County all my life and seeing new things um, come together to make communities better, like Burton received a new water tower um, with some of the ARPA money and with collaborations with the water, um, or water and waste department. And that's going to add um, a highlight for that area of Genesee County. If water is ever um, maybe you know, disconnected and somehow they won't have to re, you know, boil the water because they'll have safe drinking water because of that tower. So it's those issues that I enjoy. Um, I'm so proud of our veterans department. Um, they are working so hard to make sure that they reach out to all the veterans that need help. Uh, the parks and recs are growing. And so that, that's really important to me. And that's why I like uh, county government is I get to see those things happen. Okay, thank you so much. And thank you for participating today. Oh, you, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a valuable contribution to democracy just to participate in forums and in, in questionnaires so voters can see uh, who, who uh, it wants to be in office and make some informed choices. So thank you for being here today. All right, thank you for asking.